Have you ever said, I don't have time to practice and I don't know what to practice in the first place? You came to the right place today. I'm going to show you how to do it right in your own home. Now, the whole game of golf is played with ball spin. Today we're going to talk a few minutes about if you're a slicer or a hooker or whatever and you're having problems, you're going to practice and eliminate that right here in your own home. Let's go take a look. Well, as you can see, and as I just mentioned to you, I'm right here in my own home. I'm in my family room. And golfers do tell me all the time, Daryl, I don't have time to go practice. Besides, I wouldn't know what to if I did. <laughs> well, today's your very, very, very blessed day because we're right here in my family room, in the house, where I learned how to really, really hit golf balls well. In fact, for those of you who've been a part of the DKIC or the part of anything I do very much, that's the little half swing. I practice that in the house by the hour. Now, I wouldn't use a good piece of rug or carpet. I would use a piece of old rug or leftover remnant so I don't wear it out. I used to swing like that by the hour, at least probably three or four hundred swings a, an evening to generate and ingrain the feel of my golf swing. But we're not here for that today. We're here to, because when you don't have time or don't Maybe probably more than not have time is you're really not interested in going over there to the golf course and stumbling around and failing at everything you do. So today I'm going to teach you how to fix your slice or fix your hook without ever going to the golf course. You're going to learn it right here in my family room and then you're going to do it in your family room or wherever it's convenient for you. You're going to do it with ping pong balls or with Nerf balls, that's best. We don't want golf balls to do this one because we're going to have to put a little action on it. Now you can see I've got some breakable objects around me. So you're going to learn how to make a ball do whatever you want to do right here today. Hang on, here we go. You're going to be delighted. Here we go. Daryl, I've been slicing all the time. How can I fix it? I've gone to da 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 pro and no one can fix me. I don't talk about golf swings. I teach you how the golf club gets on the golf ball. If I were to take a ping pong ball up here and so I could do whatever I want with it, if I were to do this, leaving the face open and drag it across this way, I'd put spin on that would go that direction. Now I'm going to take my golf club and the first thing I'm going to do is hold the club. I don't care what you do. Now you can see, now I'm using my wrist up and down again like I always teach you to do. But I'm taking the golf club from over there to over here in an effort to put that kind of spin on the ball to make it curve to the right, okay? Doesn't need a lot of room, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything. I'm gonna make this ball curve to the right. Oh, you didn't get to see it. You didn't get to see it. I'll do it again. Now that ball, being in the house, did not curve but it curved that much. It curved almost a foot in, in 10 feet here. And what I'm doing with that ball is all I'm doing is making side spin to the right. Okay? Now if you want to hit it harder and do something like that, you're fine to it. You can do what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to strike this one a little harder. Then I'll get those picked up. And... See if I can head it toward the camera. There, that ball started at the camera and took off to the right. Now, most of you are hitting that shot all the time. You're hitting slices and can't figure out what it's all about. What if, what if I took the club and tried to hit it out that direction and kind of close the face around it a little bit? Now, if you've played any ping pong or tennis at all, you know that that would make the ball do this. Now the reason I'm talking about all of this, I don't teach golf swing. I just teach making the ball do what you want it to do. I started playing at 10 and by the time I was 16, I still sliced everything. I was a decent player, not great. I could break 80 most of the time, but I wasn't a great player, but I still sliced everything. Then I learned in a physics class that this is not, a golf ball is nothing more than a heavy ping pong ball. I was a good ping pong player, so I thought, I'm going to go home out the ranch where we live and try to put some balls on the lawn and hit them out in the field and in the pasture and curve them left. Pfft, nothing to it. It was so simple it was pathetic. 
I tried to hit the ball straight for years and years and years. And for me, not just for me, it was dead gum near impossible. I just couldn't do it. And quite frankly, I'd never seen anyone else do it. So I'm going to take this club. I switch to a wedge to get a little higher in the air. And I'm going to see what happens if I can come from over here out to there and kind of flip somewhere back in here. I don't care where, just get it done. I'm going to flip the club face shut and see what happens here. Got a little behind it, doggone it. That ball started over here and started spinning back this direction. Now, I'm not even using 10 or 12 feet of distance here. And I'm making that ball curve right and curve left on command. There's no reason why you can't do this the same way. If you'll get some kind of light ball, a ping pong ball, a Nerf ball, a wiffle ball works well, something light that won't break anything in your house. And just horse around. Just horse around in the hallway or somewhere. Just have fun making the ball curve right and curve left. Don't worry about how you hold it. Don't take long big, big swings and break something. Curve it right and curve it left. Once you can see the ball starting, they're not going to go whew, in here, but you'll see that the ball is curving the direction you are trying to make it. That is playing golf. Because once you're in control of the golf ball, the golf ball is no longer telling you what to do and you're no longer at the mercy of the golf ball. You can make it do what you want. And you learned that right here in the house. You didn't have to go anywhere. Now, I really would appreciate that you'd go down below and subscribe and become one of my subscribers. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. Once you subscribe and I'm getting ready to do another one of these or have it available, you'll be one among the first ones to know that it's there for you. So do me a favor, please, and go right now and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Do some practice on the hook and left and right and enjoy it. Thanks.